This is probably my last winterization of a swamp cooler for the season and I thought I'd do a short video on how one works. It's, uh, it's only used for cooling homes in an areas that's like a desert. I think our average humidity is probably only 15 to 20 percent, maybe 30 percent. So that's how it's able to work in this dry climate. So we have a supply line right here. This just brings regular cold water into swamp cooler. And this is a, a reservoir right down in there that holds the water. And if you push this flow down, you can see the water kicks back on. I'll take you around to the other side to show you where the pump is that pumps this water up through this little membrane thing right there. Go over here. So now there's well, there's two pumps in this one. Um, so these water pumps suck water up out of this reservoir up these tubes there's a tube here and a tube back over there and they dump it all up into a tray that's up here and the water trickles down through and, and, and saturates this thing it's really really wet this squirrel fan here spins sucks air through here picks up that moisture and the way it works with air sucking through that, um, it cools the air and then pushes it down into the house, which is down in there. That's pretty simple. So I'm gonna start the winterization up here, which is just unplugging that. And next is to go down into the basement. I'm gonna follow this supply line and we're gonna shut that off and unhook it. So we're now down in the basement and this right here is the uh, that black hose and it goes up to a shutoff. I don't really don't like using these things. Um, they don't always shut off very well. So the idea is, yeah, it's already spraying water all over the freaking place. You just turn this in and it actually pokes a hole with a needle in this pipe. So we're just going to try to reseat that needle, hope. It's already dripping. There is a packing around here. So sometimes you can tighten up this packing knot. It seems pretty loose actually. And it will stop that drip. So now we're gonna Loosen this other one up here. So that wasn't too bad. This is a, a repeat customer of mine. They're selling the house and part of their closing contingencies is that the swamp cooler is winterized. Just like that there. So, it's all turned off. Put that hose down into the crawl space. Actually, what I'll do, I'll just put it right down in there. Right down in this, uh, this drain here. And when I disconnect it up at the swamp cooler, everything should run downhill and fill that up. So this is the other end of that black hose. And let's loosen this up. And gravity should drain that down. I'll just take this all the way up to the top here. And the last thing we do, if I can find it, well, it drains way up there. Is we will drain the water out of this reservoir.
one other thing for winterization and how one works is there's this little flapper here and right in there you're supposed to squirt some oil in every year I don't have any on me so that's up to the new owners when they summarize this or in the springtime turn it on whoever they hire needs to squirt some oil in this bearing and the bushing and bearing on the other side there negatives on uh, swamp coolers. One is they won't dry the air out in your house. Uh, if you do have high humidity you want to control that. You don't want a bunch of mold and stuff and it's very uncomfortable being in a high humid area. So this will not do that function that uh, that air conditioners do is dehumidifying your air. Um, it uh, it actually does work almost as good for cooling as um, as an air conditioner will do. So, if you're in a real dry climate, they work well. They wouldn't even you probably don't even know what they are or have ever seen them if you're in on the East Coast or anywhere where it rains a lot. <laughs> 